Well, hello everyone. Thank you for being here with us today. And uh, what I'm going to show you today is uh, what is ABB Ability Energy and Asset Manager, who is a cloud solution based on Microsoft Azure. This is a dashboard. The dashboard that I'm showing you here is a the dashboard of the where I'm now. So essentially, this this is my my office, and for sure, um, all the equipment, all the electrical distribution system is connected to, through the gateways. Uh, and as you see, first of all, I have a nice gate dashboard here that I can compose like I want because I can add widgets. I have plenty of widgets that I can have. I can choose from a library of widgets. Uh, and we are continuing evolving and add or, uh, adding other widgets uh, uh, to automatically bind information coming from the devices directly into the dashboard with few clicks, which is extremely, extremely easy to be done. If you look into the into this dashboard, first of all, we I put here some of the some of the interesting widgets like where I am. Okay, suppose that I know where I am, but uh, imagine that if you are in a remote control center and you want to handle multiple sites, it's important that you know exactly the side where you are now, where you are pointing out now, where it is located, uh, and essentially uh, the place where, where it is. For sure, we also can have, for instance, multi-site with multi-site locator. And in this case, the multi-site locator will show me all the sites connected to my organization around the world. Okay. So, and you can for sure with a click of button, you can directly enter into the, into the other sites. Here you can see, for instance, here I put my health overview because I want to have a, in a, in a nice shed, in a nutshell, to have a quick view of how many assets are connected, uh, which of them are in a very poor situation, poor situation, fair, good and very good status. Uh, okay. For sure. This is a simulated that we have some poor, uh, poor devices here. Typically, in a typical health state, it's going to be all to the red or, or yellow. But that's an interesting point because you can, with a simple widget, ex understand where you are, where your equipment is healthy or not, and if you had to do to make maintenance. And this could change in any moment because we update values every 30 seconds in the platform. I can add other multiple widgets. For instance, here I have a list of events coming. Uh, and uh, I can for sure drill down here. There is an asset uh, that drives an event, a large art, uh, and I can go directly to this asset uh, and check about what are the asset other condition that has been triggered. And, and I have for sure information about what has happened and uh, if it's a severity, like it's an info, info severity or, or uh, it's a problem or a warning. So the system automatically alerted me I also have notification out of the system, meaning that if something is happening and can be notified through email, SMS, or directly in through the web console here in the notification box. Just want to show you something that is very interesting here. For sure, we have multiple visualization. I can see the connection status. I can see the health things and all the single devices. I can select the devices I want to uh, monitor first. Uh, and, and put it under, under preferred. I can select if I want just to see, I don't know, the one that are very poor or, uh, or, or poor. So they will pop up as long as they change the status. But here, let me show you something that is really connected to the concept of the digital twin. Here we have a site explorer and here you can navigate. You can create your own for sure. This is our building and we can, for instance, uh, go down and see what's about the switch gear in the ground floor of the building just by clicking a button and i'm just in front of the switch gear here okay virtually and uh, through this view i can have information directly visually from the device that i'm selecting here for instance i'm selecting a breaker so i have my health index i have the monitoring da da data and the environmental data and again the last event uh, but I can go for a data analysis and go more in the detail about the current trend and temperature. Uh, and again, I can see the maintenance plan of each device uh, when it's been done, when something has been notified. I see the predictive maintenance here and I can for sure zoom in, zoom out and see what is the remaining life of, expected remaining life of my breaker in this case. Uh, so it's a <clears throat> predicting algorithm saying that when the next maintenance day should happen, we're close to, and documentation. Interesting, here automatically connect to our library in case we, for sure, you can add documents 
but if and well, if it's a well-known devices, you automatically can get information from our library or the related the documentation like certification, a white paper, a service infrastructure instruction, and something like this. Just to make an example here, this one of the documents connected and to the to this breaker and is showing essentially all the data shift of the breaker and how to make maintenance directly in the tool. Awesome. So um, for sure, you also have the setting. You have asset information about uh, all the inf how many. Um, so uh, what is the trip unit? Or okay, this is typically depending on the on the asset you are digging to uh, is different. Uh, but typically, in this case, we have, for instance, number number of trees, uh, poll number, alarm, and and so and so. And for sure, serial number and lifecycle data. Thank you for being here with us today.